NASA captures northern lights swirling above Canada and these incredible photos. This is on RT today. Uh, now, these are unfortunately black and white photos, but it shows you nevertheless how they're swirling all over the place. These are basically areas above Hudson Bay, James Bay, and also they're low down towards the Great Lakes. I guess you could uh, perhaps, if you're lucky enough, see them above Montreal. I don't know. That's where I used to live. And I did see the Northern Lights there at one time. It was winter. It was February. It was uh, Friday night. I remember we were coming back from a friend's house. And um, I was very small at that point, but I really appreciate it. There's absolutely no sound at all. Uh, in fact, it was very eerily quiet. And uh, you see this magnificent shivering um, iridescent curtain above you. It's also, it seems so close to you. Um, and it's just uh, colorful uh, lights of a rainbow uh, dancing like a curtain above you. It's just amazing. So unfortunately, these are black and white images. NASA published a unique angle of one of the most stunning sights in nature, the Northern Lights, Aurora Borealis. One of its Earth-studying satellites snapped stunning photos from above the Northern Lights as they swirled over Canada's Hudson Bay. The special day-night band detectors on the Suomi NPP satellite picked up the Aurora as it was dancing in the moonlight on March 28th. These are March 28th images. Space weather forecaster Mike Cook said the fantastic light show was caused by minor coronal holes that provided just enough activity to spark the aurora at high altitudes. He says it didn't take much to spark some aurora at high altitudes as we are, we are near the spring equinox, which because of the Earth's tilt, lights us for better geomagnetic activity, Cook explained. And the history books show that March is the most geomagnetically active month in the year. Well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it wasn't February. Maybe it was in March. The beginning of March. Who knows? I can't remember that far back. All I know is it was freezing, a freezing night in winter. So I'll leave a link below for you for this on RT. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.